Welcome to the Humble Monkey Wrench Backyard Brewery. We're going to be out there before you know it. Right now we're brewing a milk stout and uh, nice Sunday afternoon. We just uh, crushed 22 pounds of grain here. Yeah. All right, my humble assistant Joe is going to help me. So we have some roasted barley, flaked barley, and also just Quaker oats. As well as some Munich, Crystal 80, and a pound of chocolate malt to go with 14 pounds of two row. Breakfast of champions right here. <laughs> and you hear our friendly brew dogs in the background. Yeah. They like to get out and Wrench it up a notch sometimes as well. All right, so we're going to do this for 60 uh, minutes at about 1:52, and we're going to convert these st these starches into sugars in the mash process. And we're going to stop the all the all that process at the very end. We're going to uh, mash out, uh, raise the temp up about uh, 18 degrees, and then we'll stop that and we'll go to the sparging process. We'll be right back with you soon. Now we're starting the laudering process. We're going to rinse, rinse all the sugars off the grains. And it's called sugar water. Then we're going to boil that baby. Add some initial bittering hops. And then after 50, 45, 50 minutes, add the flavorful aroma hops. Set the timer again. Going to try to go 25 30 minutes on the laudering process and then we'll be in the boil kettle start raising the temp up and we'll be boiling here within 30 40 minutes cheers it goes bittering hops one and a half ounce of uk pilgrim beta acids around 11 percent cheers Okay, now it's time to chill the wort so we can pitch the yeast. But 100 plus degrees is not going to work. 200 plus degrees is not going to work. So we're going down to 68, 70 degrees so we can pitch our London ale yeast. So hold on for about 30, 45 minutes. We're going through a conversion chiller, a, a wort, a counterflow chiller. I'm sorry, a counterflow chiller, the little copper guy here. So the water's going one way and the wort's going the other way. Put our hydrometer in here in a little bit and we'll figure out the initial gravity reading of the milk stout. London Ale Yeast. Once we get it down to 68, 70 degrees, we'll pitch the yeast and convert those starches into sugars and alcohol. CO2 and alcohol.